So we're going to uh, match some questions here based on the position or the place of the cat. Look at our cat here. We are going to find out or identify which place or uh, which preposition works best for our cat. Ali, I'm looking at the first um, picture here, and the cat is inside the box. So I will have to put an arrow to in. Uh, there is a weird sound. Okay. And um, the second thing I need to do here is I'm going to look at the second picture and I want you to help me with this one, Ali. Uh, where is the cat? Ali, do you hear me? Yeah. Where is the cat? On. Excellent. The cat is on the chair. Well done. Lamar, where is the cat in the third picture? Good morning, Lamar. Good morning. Where is the, uh, the cat in the second, sorry, third picture? In. It's inside the chair? Look, I have in front of, I have under, next to, between, and behind. So where is the cat? What do you think? In front of is like this. Under means below. Next to can work with at. Between means in the middle and behind is like this. So what do you think? Under. Yes, under is the correct answer. Good job. So the cat is under the chair. Well done. Yeah, I mean, I see your hand up. Uh, where is the cat in the fourth picture? Next to. Mm, try again. Yeah, behind it. Yes, the cat is hiding behind the basket. The cat is behind the basket. Good job, Yemen. Athman, where is the cat in this picture? Uh, in, in, uh, in front. 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 Of front of excellent in front of the cat is in front of the basket. Well done, Bashair. Where is the cat in this picture next to or between? Pizza. Next to is like this, between is in the middle. What do you think? Between. Try again. It's not between uh, Bashair. Try again. Eileen, where do you think the yeah. cat is here? Next to or between? Uh, next to. Excellent. The cat is next to the back basket. It's beside the basket. Thank you, Eileen. Lama, in the last picture, where is the cat? Between. Between. Excellent, Lama. So the cat is between, between the basket and the chair. It's between the basket and the chair. Well done. So this is just revision for um, the prepositions. So I'm going to go down now. We'll do a few more examples and then I will explain the homework to you. So notice here, let me choose a different color. 
notice that we can use prepositions of place to say where things are. So we use these words to tell us where something else or where we can find it. Like in, on, under, behind, in front of, next to, and between. Also words like at, if you remember at. It's a very important one. So in number A or letter A, my dad is in the kitchen. So they said in because he is inside the kitchen and the kitchen is big. It's a big room. So he's inside it. Zainab, uh, in B, it says our cat likes sleeping with me, the bed. So you need to choose between on or in front of between so does it work if i say our cat likes sleeping with me between the bed so does the cat sleep between the bed on the bed excellent the cat sleeps on the bed very good Zeno. How about in C, letter C, the question says, I'm waiting for my friend, her house. So can I say in front of, under, or on? What do you think? And in front of your house. Excellent, in front of, because, because we can't say, under because no one's gonna wait under the house and we can't say on because no one's going to wait on top on of the house so very good how it thank you salam in d the sentence says we're playing a game i'm hiding the door so is it on under or behind behind Excellent, behind. yes. When we play hide and seek or when we play the game, a game, sometimes we hide behind the door. I can't say on because no one's going to stand on top of the door and I can't say under because there is no space for me to hide under the door. So good job. Uh, is this Ayham? Oh, Malik. Malik, for E, Malik, you need to write your name so I don't confuse you with other people. So E, okay. the sentence says, I like sitting my mom and dad on the sofa. So is it under, in, or between? Malik, what do you think? In. So are you sitting in? Is the person sitting in their mom? Can we say that? No. Under is like this, in is like this, between is in the middle. So I like sitting my mom and my dad on the sofa. What do you think the answer is? Under. So you're sitting under your mom? Your mom's sitting on you? Are you sure? You want to? Huh? What do you think? But beyond. Between. Behind. Between. Say it again. Between. Be be what? Between. Between. Yes. Between means bin. So, because I'm sitting in the middle between my mom and dad, the correct answer would be between. Good try, man. Bushra, in F, this, the question says, can you swim water? So they're saying in front of, under, and next to. What do you think the correct answer is here? Uh, in. You have 
in front of, under, and next to. So do you swim in front of water or under water or next to water? Next to. If you're swimming next to the water, you're not inside it. You need to be inside it to be able to swim, right? Try again, Bushra. In front okay. of or under? Under. Under. Excellent. Because if I'm swimming under water, that means I'm going deep and there's a lot of water around me. And they're asking if you're swimming under water because they want to know if you can close, I mean, open your eyes, for example, inside the water or swim. Good job, Bushra. Muhammad, last one. My teddy is my doll. So, okay. next to, between, or in? In. My teddy is inside my doll. Are you sure? Oh, no, no, between. How, how is my teddy between my doll? If you're saying between, you have to make sure you, you're, um, there's two things after the words between. My doll is only one thing. So, for example, look at between in uh, my mom and dad. When uh, I uh, wrote between here, I was sure that there were two things after the word between. Here, there is only one thing after between. So, what do you think? Uh, and. We already said and doesn't work because the teddy is not inside the doll. On? You have only three options. You have next to, between, and in. Choose one. Between? We said between can't work because there's only one doll. You have next to, so they're asking if the teddy and the doll, next to, or between, bin, or in, inside. What do you think? Yeah, between. But the teddy can't be between the one doll. You have to have two things so, so the teddy can be between it. Uh, sure. I don't know. Okay, let's, uh, I'm going to ask someone to help you, okay? Uh, Yamin has his okay. hand up. So Yamin, what do you think the answer is here? Why, why is the answer next to Yamin? Because the doll is sitting here and is a, the, the teddy is sitting next to it. Yes, so it's beside it. For example, this is my glass of water and this is my phone. So my phone is next to the water or the water is next to my phone but if it's between for example my head is between the water and the phone or my head is between the phone and the water this is between when you have two things and i'm in the middle this is what between okay. means okay i'm like for you again can you say that again uh, uh, i have a game Ah, oh, the game that we played yesterday? No, no, I, I'm, I have a game. You have a game? Yeah. I, What's your game? No, it's not a game. I put the cat in there. And um, I will say to somebody to try on in the like it's uh, related to our lesson, is that what you mean? Yeah. Do you want to share it? No, it is not in the computer. I mean, share the idea. Yeah. Tell us, what's the idea? So where do you think the lamp is? Is it in the corner or in the middle or on the side? What do you think? Ali, look at the picture so you can know. Do you see the lamp, Ali? 
Ali, you can do it yourself. You just need to look at the picture. Okay, Ali is busy talking to someone else. Um, how, where do you think the lamp is? Uh, Zainab, where is the lamp? This is the lamp, okay? Where is it? Okay. Is it in the corner or in the middle or on the right? What do you think? On the right. So it's on the right. And we can also say in the corner. So we can say my lamp is on the right. Or I can say my lamp is in the corner. Okay? okay. And make sure that when you write sentences, I am always starting my sentences with a capital letter. So my uh, letters are big in the beginning. So first letter is always capital. And I finish the sentence with a full stop. Yeah, to finish the sentence with a full stop. And make sure that when you write, you have space between each word. Look, I have space between each word so that I can uh, read the sentence. Mm -hmm.